the northern part of the continent because amid the increase in smoking related diseases among the Egyptian population, Egyptian authorities have initiated measures to minimize tobacco consumption in the country. Now, according to the WHO statistic from 2021, more than 24% of Egyptians are smokers, but this that is over 25 million people of the country's population. Health experts believe that TV dramas and movies are largely responsible for the rise in smoking in the country, especially among the youth, despite some of the strong measures put in place to regulate the smoke, smoking in the country. Now, let's have more details of that in this report. Ahmed Khalid, a heavy smoker, is having a checkup after feeling unease in his chest and with his breathing. I smoke one to two packs a day. I can't go up the stairs. I can't breathe well when I walk. My blood pressure has increased. I've been given medication and have regular checkups to avoid surgery. He is one of millions of Egyptians suffering from one or several forms of smoking-related diseases. Because of movies and TV drama, smoking is increasing, especially among the youth. It harms the smoker and his non-smoking family. It affects his health and therefore his work and financial status. It also creates a burden on the health sector and overall economy. What makes matters worse is that people underestimate the harmful effects of shisha, which is very popular, and vaping. The smoke that comes out of them is harmful and causes tumors. Secondly, the nicotine is addictive and consumes the body. Cigarettes remain the number one cause of most cancers and tumors. World Health Organization statistics from 2021 showed that about 24.4% of Egyptians were smokers. That's over 25 million people out of the 105 million population. 33.8% of men and 0.3% of women smoke. In 2022, Egyptians bought 5 billion cigarette packs, which is about 100 billion cigarettes. The government has launched awareness campaigns, banned smoking in public areas and public transportation. It has banned cigarette ads while also placing a health warning on every cigarette pack. But it seems most smokers don't heed the warning until they are personally affected. A friend of mine had lung issues and blood would come out of his mouth. He's in intensive care now. Seeing him and what's happening to me, I decided to quit smoking before it's too late. The North African country announced it will sign up for a WHO-backed initiative to combat tobacco consumption, hoping to reduce the number of smokers in the next few years.